Republican presidential candidate Nikki Haley is back out on the campaign trail today, doing some damage control for her response to a question about what caused the Civil War. And as you're about to hear, it was a response that never once mentioned the word slavery. What was the cause of the United States Civil War? Well, don't come with an easy question or anything. I mean, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run, the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. What do you think the cause of the Civil War was? I'm sorry? I'm not running for president. I, 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 I wanted to see uh, your That's a good thing. on the cause of the Civil War. <laughs> I mean, I think it always comes down to the role of government and what the rights of the people are. And we, I will always stand by the fact that I think government was intended to secure the rights and freedoms of the people. It was never meant to be all things to all people. Government doesn't need to tell you how to live your life. They don't need to tell you what you can and can't do. They don't need to be a part of your life. They need to make sure that you have freedom. We need to have capitalism. We need to have economic freedom. We need to make sure that we do all things so that individuals have the liberties so that they can have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to do or be anything they want to be without government getting in the way. Thank you. And in, in the year 2023, it's astonishing to me that you answer that question without mentioning the word slavery. What do you want me to say about slavery? No, um, uh, you answered my question. Thank you. Next question. Well, joining me now to discuss this is Capitol Hill correspondent Ryan Nobles, MSNBC political analyst and former Ohio governor John Kasich, and Democratic strategist and director of public policy program at Hunter College, Basil Smichael. Uh, it would seem, Ryan, that the second she finished that answer and was queried by that potential voter uh, about why she didn't mention the word slavery, that, that she knew she might have been in hot water. How was she responding to this? Well, she's taking every opportunity she can, Alex, to try and clean this up and explain uh, that, of course, she knows that slavery was a root cause of the Civil War, but she was trying to expand upon that basic premise. Listen to how she explained it during her first campaign event this morning. Of course, the Civil War was about slavery. We know that. That's unquestioned, always the case. We know the Civil War was about slavery. But it was also more than that. It was about the freedoms of every individual. It was about the role of government. For 80 years, America had the decision and the moral question of whether slavery was a good thing and whether government, economically, culturally, any other reasons, had a role to play in that. By the grace of God, we did the right thing, and slavery is no more. So it, it took her a little bit to get to that point. This was an, an answer to a question this morning. She started out her uh, town hall by right away addressing this issue. And then earlier in the day, she actually was part of a radio interview in New Hampshire where she was asked about this. And she even suggested that the person who asked the question may have been a plant by the Democratic Party in an attempt to try and trip her up. Uh, at the end of the day, though, it was a pretty straightforward question of which she left out slavery as being uh, a key part of what led to the Civil War. Uh, and now she's spending most of today trying to clean that up, Alex.